In this video, we're going to be talking about Webster's method, which is another divisor method of apportionment. Some history, it was invented by Daniel Webster. It was adopted by Congress in 1842. It replaced Hamilton's method in 1852, and it was adopted by Congress again in 1901, and it was used until 1941. Now let's talk about how to apportion using Webster's method. First, you would follow steps one to three of Hamilton's method. Remember the first three steps, finding the total population, identifying the house size, using those two things to find your natural divisor, then use your natural divisor to find the natural state quotas. Now step two, we introduce the rounding rule, which is going to be different from all of the other methods we saw. For the initial allocation, round each state's natural quota normally, which means if the state quota ends in something smaller than 0.5, round down. If it ends in something greater than or equal to 0.5, round up. And allocate each state this number of seats initially. If the initial allocation of seats sums to the correct house size, we're done. If not, part three, if the sum is too large or too small, modify the natural divisor and use it to find new modified quotas that when rounded normally, sum to the correct house size. So a nice thing about Webster's method is that sometimes the first try can work out and you don't need to modify the divisor. Other times you do need to modify the divisor. But remember, we're rounding normally. All of the other methods, the only rounding rule we had was to get rid of the decimals and round everything down. This is the first one that's different because we'll be rounding normally. These are some tips for when you're modifying divisors using Webster's method. If the sum is too large, meaning you've allocated too many seats, make your modified divisor larger than the natural divisor. If the sum is too small, meaning you've allocated too few seats, make your modified divisor smaller than the natural divisor. And this is just like we did with Jefferson's method. Now let's look at an example. Here we want to apportion 41 seats using Webster's method to the three following states. So first we would find our total population by adding up all the state populations then we would find our natural divisor. So remember 41 here is our house size because that's the number of things we're giving out or the number of seats for representatives. Now that we found our natural divisor, we're going to take each state population and divide it by the natural divisor here to get our natural quotas. Okay, so we get our natural quotas and now for our initial allocation we need to round everything normally. So 7.4 becomes 7, 24.5 becomes 25, 9.0 becomes 9, and all of this adds up to 41, which works out. So we're done and we don't need to do anything else. But every now and then, Webster's method can be really nice like this. Now let's look at another example that isn't quite so simple. Apportion 100 representatives using Webster's method. So we know that 100 is going to be our house size. Now we need to find our total population, and we do that by adding up all of the state populations. Now we want to find our natural divisor, so we take our total population divided by the house size, we get a natural divisor of 69.8. Now to get our natural quotas, we would take each state population and divide it by 69.8. And we get the following natural quotas. Now for the initial allocation, we're going to round everything normally. So 28.6 becomes 29, 20.7 rounds up to 21, 22.0 rounds down to 22, 28.5 rounds up to 29. And if we add all of these initial allocations up, we get 101, which is a number that's too large. So because our initial allocation here was too big, we're going to modify our divisor by making it larger. So whatever we're trying, it should be larger than 69.8. Maybe we want to try 70, 69.9, 71. Here we try a divisor of 70, and these are the modified quotas we get. So remember, to get these quotas, we take each state population and divide it by 70. Now in order to see what our allocation would be, we need to round all of these modified quotas normally. So 28.5 rounds to 29, 20.7 rounds to 21, 22 exactly rounds to 22, 28.4 rounds down to 28, and all of this adds up to 100, which is the correct house size, so we're done. And now let's look at another example. Here we want to apportion 35 seats using Webster's method to the following states. So first our house size is 35. 
We have our total population, 2,305, and our natural divisor is the total population divided by the house size. We would use this to get all of our natural quotas. We round all of our natural quotas normally to get our initial allocation. And our initial allocation adds up to 34, which is too small. This tells us that we need to make our modified divisor smaller than the natural divisor. So our natural divisor was 65.8571. Maybe we want to try 65. Maybe we want to try 64. Whatever we're trying initially should be smaller than the natural divisor. So here, let's say we try 65 and we take each state population divided by 65, we get the following quotas. Now we would round all of these normally to get our new allocation. So 30.7 rounds up to 31, 2.2 rounds down to 2, and 2.4 rounds down to 2. And this adds up to 35, which is the correct house size, and that would make this our final allocation. Now let's look at one more example. I would recommend pausing the video here, try to work through the whole problem yourself from the beginning, then hit play to see me go through the rest of the solution. So the first thing that we need to do here, recognize that 27 is our house size, and then we need to find our total population. So if we add up all the state populations, we end up getting 7,593. Next we need to find our natural divisor which is total population divided by our house size. And our natural divisor is 281.2222. The next thing we need to do now is find our natural quotas, which remember we need to take each state population divided by our natural divisor in order to get that. Now that we have our natural quotas, we can figure out what our initial allocation is by rounding everything normally. So 6.7 is going to round up to 7, 5.8 is going to round up to 6, 7.1 rounds down to 7, 7.5 rounds up to 8. And if we add all of these up, we end up getting an initial allocation of 28, which is too large. And this tells us we need to make our divisor bigger. So whatever we're trying for our modified divisor should be larger than 281.222. Maybe you want to try 282, 290. Whatever you're trying at first, it should be larger than the natural divisor. The divisor I tried over here first was 285. So we'll try that to get some modified quotas. And now remember, we're going to take each state population and we're going to divide it by 285 to get our new modified quotas. So Vulcan's modified quota is going to be 6.6281. Beta Z's modified quota will be 5.5088, 7.0175, and 7.4877. Now we need to round all of these normally to get our modified allocation, 6.6 .6 rounds up to 7, 5.5 .5 rounds up to 6, 7.01 rounds down to 7, and 7.48 also rounds down to 7. So now this adds up to 27, which is the correct house size, and that makes this our final allocation. 